Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, pardon the mess. I'm painting and have everything all over the place and cleaning up. Just want to do a short video on how to set a distributor in a motor. Uh, here, this is a small block Chevy uh, with HEI distributor. Uh, this will pertain to many other motors, uh, you know, Ford motors, uh, yeah, anything with this type of distributor in it. Uh, what we're looking for is to get it set up on number one, to fire on number one pretty much clo very close to its exact point that it needs to be to, when, so when you fire your engine up for the first time, it'll start right up. And you're, not, you're not chasing, moving the distributor around. Uh, I have, I've, I've set distributors hundreds of times. Um, I, I come from a background of building race cars, you know, drag motors, you know, nitrous, big nitrous motors. Uh, you know, I have a, you know, a lot of experience you know, pulling motors apart, putting them back together, pulling them apart, putting them back together. Uh, some run crank triggers, you know, it's, you know, it's a, you know, a little bit different for setting up a crank trigger, but it's still the same premise. Uh, you know, I've put a lot of just regular MST distributors in. Uh, so what we're going to start out with is... We have your HEI cap here. Usually, you set it up. You know, so this is the you know front of the motor here. Usually, set it up with all your connections on the driver's side. So, and usually, I, I like this cinema because it put, kind of puts the night or the wires nice. Um, I like to use this terminal here. As number one, so it'll be one eight four three six five seven two. So what you're going to do is you have number one here. You're going to set it on the distributor before you put it in. You make a mark. And you line it up with the tab. Mallory distributor. So, okay, so we got okay. Got a pain in the butt. It's gonna fight me while, while I'm on video, right? Okay, so number one, what you're gonna do? You're gonna take. You're gonna, you're gonna put a mark. You want to go just past. Number one, usually I, I'll go right up to the edge of where your wiring harness comes out here. You know, you, basically you want it about um, a third to a quarter past number one on its way to number eight. So it, you know, it's it's going this way. You know, your distributor turns this way. So what you do is. You know, if, if you don't have this, say on like an MSD distributor or something, you'll, you know, take a Sharpie and you just make a mark on the distributor, like so. And that 
is where your rotor is going to end up pointing right right at that that mark when you drop the distributor in. next what we're going to do is going to rotate the motor and how you bring it up on number one is uh, you know of course you have to have all your rockers on and it's kind of somewhat semi-adjusted to where it's actually going to go through all four strokes so in turning it over you're going to have the spark plug out you can just take number one spark plug out you stick your finger in a hole and you're going to rotate the engine Till you hear compression coming out. So compression starting to come out. That means you're on compression stroke. You were bring it up to top dead center. And that you're gonna, be, you're gonna line up your pointer with the mark on your balancer. Uh, the reason why I like to do it like this is because some motors. You know, say a motor with this balancer, there's no advance marks on this. It's just a pointer and a mark. So you can really kind of only tell where it's at by going zero to zero. Um, you know, a lot of aftermarket pointers are just a, a single pointer. Uh, you know, you have ATI balancers that will have, you know, timing marks on it. Uh, you you can do it a little bit different with that, but this is this is what works for me, and it's always worked and it works great. So right now it's on top dead center compression. So with, on top dead center compression, you know number one is back over here. And remember, it's fired already. Uh, so say if your base timing would be 15 degrees, you know, it's, it's already fired 15 degrees ago. So it's going to be past firing on number one. So you want to go just a, a little bit ahead of it. Now, if you have a locked out distributor, that, that's a little bit different. Usually I'll, I'll set those right, almost right in the middle of number one and eight. Because that'll bring you right around 35, 36 degrees timing. Uh, doing it this way at full advance is probably going to bring you around 35, 36 degrees. So, what we do next is go ahead and set the distributor in the motor. So drop the distributor down in. And with these, you want to try to set the distributor where the vacuum advance has enough room to move. It's not going to hit the firewall back here. Or it's not going to hit the intake here. Some intakes are different. Uh, some are up a little higher over here. Where you don't have as much room to go this way. Sometimes the firewall is close. And you don't have a lot of room to go that way. So usually the best is set it up about there. And your on an HEI the plug will pretty much be facing straight forward. You know, might be a little bit one way or the other when you do your final setting. Okay. So, I'm going to set the distributor in. And when you set it in, if you've never done this before, when you get it on, on the teeth, it's, it's going to move. And right now... I'll show you here where it's, it's not all the way down on the intake and the rotor's not all the way to your mark. The reason for that is it's not all the way down on the oil pump shaft. So if it's in the car, all you have to do is hit your starter button rotate the motor over you know it'll be, most times it just drops right in so with this being on the stand i'm just going to take my 
ratchet here and then spin the motor over. And boom, drop down. So I'm gonna go back around. I have to go back around twice. So right now it's 180 out. You know, four stroke, two complete rotations of the engine. All right, so I'm gonna bring it back up on top dead center. see there where the marks are lined up zero to zero and you can see that the distributor has dropped all the way down so right now you can look see where the rotor is lined right up with your mark now You'll put your hole down on there, clamp your distributor down, line your rotor right up with that mark, put your distributor cap on, boom, plug everything, put your plug wires on, and if you want to change where your number one's at, all you're going to do is you're going to change where your number one is going to point. So say if you want to use number one here, you just put a little past here. You want to use number one here, put a little past there, and so on, etc. To me, that's the it's the simplest. Uh, do it the same way every single time, so I know it's it's right in my head. You know, other people have different ways of doing it. Uh, this just works for me. Hopefully, it works good for you. Thanks for watching.